Hi everybody, it's Martin from Bailey's Boats. Um, ordered myself a fake boat. And the recommend, recommendation of everyone on Facebook. I got the Yapta. Um, the reason I'm making this video is that I've seen a lot of reviews for the standard Yapta um, from the UK. I've not seen any reviews on YouTube for the Yapta GPS. So this is going to be a three-part series. Um, today's going to be the unboxing. See what you get. See how it's packaged. I am a little bit worried. There's a puncher hole just there. Um, again, I haven't opened it yet. We're going to do that together. Um, and then the second part will be this down the line. Uh, we're going to put a marker float out. Set GPS positions with the marker float. Um, return it to home and see how accurate it is um, up against the marker flow. So, nevertheless, well, let's get this thing open. Right, so, for a GPS bait boat, this was only £299. So, I'm not holding much hope, but I may well be proved wrong. Instructions, um, the receipt for the boat. This is the Mark IV, uh, 10 amp hours, which is the one that is for the 399 at the minute. Um, the information, the instructions for the boat, but I'm a man, we don't need them. Um, Let's pull her out. Thankfully, there doesn't look to be any damage where the puncture mark was. It lined up with a hopper, so not too bad. Well, I'm just give that. It's what it says on the tip. It's a little bay boat. Um, it's the main boat. Let's move that out of the way, see what else comes with it, and then we'll get in the boat. He's hanging there. Right, so in the back of this protection foam, this is more than likely the charger. Yep, this is standard wall plug charger. We have got, it looks to be USB charger, that's probably for the remote. What else is in there? Got a nice. Spare set of props. The remote itself. That's um it's got a nice weight to it. I was kind of worried on the um on the uh, Chinese uh, YouTube video that I watched that that was gonna be too big to be a one-time control. Um, but no, that, that, that fits in the hand nice. Um, I, I didn't get the sonar version because um, I've been using the deeper, deeper chirp. Um, I believe that would be more accurate than the sonar. Uh, nice little cleaning cloth. Not impressive. 399. Right, well, let's get all this out of the way. Get back to the main boat. So, well, it comes with protection tape and stuff in the bottom of it. Let's get that out of there. I'll try and get this as short as possible. The actual overall build of it feels quite strong. It feels quite light, but in no it's not the lightest boat I feel. It feels very well made, very, very strong. There's no flex in this whatsoever. Stainless steel doors, front and back. So you've got your front hopper, back hopper. This one holds a kilo, this one holds half a kilo. To be honest, probably never gonna use that. 
Um, it'll just be the middle upper for my uses. But in the hole, very nice little bone. Seems very really well made. Well, extremely well made. I mean, I've, I've seen thousand homes that don't look this well made. Um, but let's switch on. So I turn on the control button at the bottom. I haven't got the instructions yet, so this bit will be basic. I'll show you more on the next video. That's the control on. Come fully charged. Remove that. Turn the top off. Them spring tips felt a little. A little loose on this side. Um, as you can see in here, there's your battery, 10 amp battery, which is interchangeable, so you can buy more. There's your on off switch for the controller. And what you've got to do first of all is plug the battery in. So let's plug the battery in. That is certainly not a fat man's job with fat fingers. I may have to go and get a pair of moving nose pliers to get this on. Wire seems very short to get to it. We're done with an extra cut of wood, but then again, can't we all? Right, that's on. As you can see there, and the light flashed at me two or three times to tell me that it was plugged in. Right, the switch was already in the on mode, and the battery has come at 100% charged. It shows you the battery there for the controller, and the battery there for the boat, which is quite nice. Um, and it also shows you how much charge you've got there. So, yeah. mm, nothing. Maybe I don't need to read the instructions. Switch it off, switch it back on again. Turn the controller back off, and then we'll turn it back on. So at the minute, it's working. Turning the controller back on. It's got a signal from the boat. There we go. She got. Forward, backwards, left, right, and forward. I think it knows it's not in water. No resistance on the motors, it's stopping itself instantly. stopping itself instantly so I think it knows that there's no resistance on the motors and that it's not in water which is quite smart um, hopper release the centre hopper come open nicely and rear hopper Ah, there we go. Little bit of a delay. Little bit of a delay. 
the line. Ah! Sorry, this, these things annoy me. Ah! But yeah, rear hopper, middle hopper. Lock them. Ah! See where we go from there. Ah! 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 That was rear hopper, ah! even though it was meant to be middle ah! hopper. Ah! Ah! ah, there we go, middle hopper. Ah! Let's try it one more. Ah! I need to read the instructions. Ah! Right, so. Ah! Middle hopper. I've asked it to open that middle hopper twice. Case of to the instruction. There they both go. Work that out. I'll get to the bottom of that and I'll let you know what what um what's going on there. I will get to the bottom of that and I'll let you know in part two. Um, I believe with the GPS it needs to be calibrated um, at a home point set before you use it. And this is why it's now beeping at me. Um, I did get that from the Japanese video. I haven't read the instructions yet. We've only just opened it. The in hole, very nice boat. I'm very impressed. Um, if we read the instructions and get them bits sorted out. Um, I will be very impressed. Got a nice little light on the front. Um, I'll show you that in the next video. We'll do a nighttime video of it as well. And we'll go from there. All right, thank you very much for watching. And uh, like and subscribe to see part two.